Getting over it was the first game in my 12 days of Hey Jay, and it's a stupid game, but here's why you as a gamer need to try it at least once in your life. Gosh, shit on your mother. Hey Jay Review. Welcome back, Classic Crew, to another Hey Jay Review, and today we're going to be talking about getting over it, and I don't know how long I can talk about dude in a in a soup kettle with a hammer, because this game is very simple. I didn't even know if I was going to make a video about it, but my experience with it Whoopsie doodle! No! 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 I don't want to do it again! It requires some words, and if I don't have much to say with it, we're just going to pad this video out with a bunch of fail attempts, because that's all this game is. So for those who don't know, um, Getting Over It's a game that came out, I think, four or five years ago, and it's a certain genre of games that I forget the name, hopefully it's on the screen, and it's all about having wonky physics mechanics or like wonky controls and a very simplistic goal, which is getting over it. So you, all you got to do is play as this dude, you control where his camera or where his hammer goes, and you have to use the momentum of the swing to get you over stuff, and then you climb. Now my first uh, preconceived notion that ended up being wrong was I thought that once you hammer something for some reason, I thought you could hold the button to like hold your grip, but it doesn't work like that at all. It is completely based, if I recall right, I was playing on the, no, it was a mouse. I was playing with a mouse. So that was, that threw me off. I thought it was a controller based uh, game. And I think you can play with a controller, but the mouse is way superior. And I thought that you could click the mouse to hold your grip, but it doesn't work like that at all. It's just wherever you're, you move your mouse, that's like how he moves his arms and you can move the dude like in either direction or you can point the hammer down to like propel yourself upwards and that's all you have to work with and there's there's something like first of all i i don't game with with mice very well and the controls were a lot more gimmicky than i thought you know when i said how hard can it be first of all i was not expecting mouse controls and i was not expecting such garbage mouse controls no! if the controls were a little bit more predictable I'm pretty sure I could have gone over it properly. But instead, I stand before you as a man who has gone over 30% of it. So the game at first, I was really like taking my time to like understand the mechanic, trying to replicate the movement of the hammer so that I could consistently swing myself the way I wanted to. And then you get greeted from the narrator. As soon as you get your first fail or it detects that you've fallen back a bit, the narrator comes in with a little pretentious quote about failure over the last... 2000 years of humanity and at first it's kind of cute but at the end by and by the end i mean like five ten minutes later this narrator gets so freaking annoying because i think that the game is programmed to detect like how far you've been in the air and that's when it knows you fall or fallen back and then he'll just like be like coming in with no introduction or something he'll, he'll just come out with a quote of like a uh, failure is a thing that happens to everyone or once you fall you must try try again i'm paraphrasing he has way better quotes but he says it with such a pretentious tone of an emotionless of like you know he's only there because he's trolling you and you're just like can you just shut up and let me play the game and so that was grinding the gear a little bit and then if it's not the narrator he's also uh brought together a selection of wonderful songs uh, that I think are all free public domain songs because I didn't get a copyright strike. Um, and so like sometimes it's it's like these really old like Yole songs of or or like about falling and climbing and yeah, the, the songs were okay. They were kind of comical and they got less old than the narrator's quotes. Um, otherwise, there's some nice jazz that plays. So I really like the music of the game and uh, I really did not think I could play this game for 30 minutes or an hour unless I was making proper progress. But it was so, I don't know. There was something about it that just, I'm like, ah, oh, one more time, one more time. Even when I fell after a lot of progress, I was like, ah, oh, let's try it again. And sometimes I would get right back to where I was with very minimal effort. And it was so inconsistent. It, it, it's almost like your brain got like, I don't know, it gets into like the state of just flow and sometimes i'm just like oh frick i fell so far and then i'm just like whoop 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 and i got like this muscle memory and my dude is doing so much momentum i realized that the game is actually easier if you don't try to be so precise and if you just feel it out as weird as that feel, as as it is to say that it you feel out your move and your guy will just use the progress. momentum and propel himself fast whereas if you go slow you have no momentum and some things become almost impossible to get over without proper momentum 
So I ended up going for four hours. And if you watch the stream, I am slowly losing my mind through it out. Like at the end, I'm saying all sorts of nonsense. Who says I can make the barbecue jump? I have no appetite to play this game ever again. I never want to touch this. I never want to redo any of it. But I do think for gamer, if you identify as a gamer, you need to play it because it is such a unique experience. And it's something that you will only want to touch once if you're like me. And you will never want to touch it again. I'm happy I spent four hours playing it, but I never want to try that game again because I don't think I can get any further than as far as I've gotten. After I played it, I watched a speedrunner beat this thing in less than two minutes. And it's just like, boom, boom, boom. Like the guy's like running, 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 running. Like just keeping that momentum and just flowing. Like, oh, I'm like I can't play like that. I don't want to do this. This game's not that rewarding. And I am done with it. So I'm glad this is something I was so curious about over the last couple of years. I finally know what getting over it is all about. I never want to see this in my games ever again, but I'm glad I tried it. I'm glad I tried it. I understand the getting over experience. Dark Souls and Monster Hunter are way better games than this. So uh, only play this if you want. If you, I think if you're with friends, it helps because then you have someone to talk to and it's good to not be full focused on this. It's good to just kind of let your mind wander and you just like, it just becomes a reflex and you're just chatting with friends and you're saying all this nonsense. And the next thing you know, you've gone over something that you couldn't for the last 30 minutes only to Too fall far. and restart again five Too minutes after that. 30 minutes. So it's a crazy game. I recommend it as a one play playthrough. Um, try to get it on the cheap. Don't, don't pay a full price for this. And if you are like massively like, what is it? A, a saddis or a maskis? <clears throat> so my HJ, hey my HJ hey recommendation for the first game of the 12 days of HJ hey is play it. I'll see you on the next video with another HJ hey review from my 12 days of HJ. Hey and until next time, keep it classy. Do 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 do